Good morning. And we want to thank everybody for taking the time to come down and spend with us today. I want to make a few introductions and then I'm going to turn it over to Special Agent in Charge, Randy Teese, out of Omaha. Um, on the far right, I have Sheriff Alan Moore with the Saline County Sheriff's Office. Adjacent to him is Mark Martinez. He's the U.S. Marshal for the District of Nebraska. Uh, Colonel John Bullock, Randy, and of course, I'm, it's TC. Dicey. Dicey. Yep. Close. Special Agent in Charge with the Federal Bureau of Investigations. And then most importantly, um, uh, Sydney's parents, Susie and George, have traveled down here today. And we felt that it was important to meet everybody, all of us, and those from our agencies that are working to find her, and for all of you to meet them and know how important it is, your assistance in helping locate Sydney. Um, with that, I'm going to turn it over to Randy. Yep. Thanks, Chief. Yep. Good morning, everyone. Uh, good morning. My name is Randy Thicey. I'm Special Agent in Charge of the FBI Omaha Division. Um, uh, joining me here today is uh, everybody uh, that's been working on this task force, all the different agencies involved. So we've been uh, working very good together. Um, also joining us today are Sydney's parents, George and Susie. So thank you guys for being here. Uh, we're here today to ask for the public's help in obtaining information relating to a missing woman, uh, Sydney Loof. Uh, now, uh, Sydney's been missing for nearly two weeks, and uh, we extend our heartfelt prayers and wishes to the entire Loof family and all the friends during this trying time. Um, Uh, also, I'd like to uh, thank all the, the volunteers that have been assisting law enforcement over the last few days. I uh, really appreciate their assistance. Um, Sydney went missing on the evening of November 16th. On uh, November 17th, Sydney's mother um, contacted the Lincoln Police Department and uh, asked for a welfare check because she hadn't heard from her. Uh, and then shortly after that, it was determined uh, that she was missing. Um, and um, recent uh, information that we received from the public has really helped our investigation tremendously. Um, so that's kind of why we're here today, is to ask for the public's assistance in getting information to help uh, locate and uh, bring Sydney home. Okay. Uh, literally uh, moments ago, um, We've made uh, contact with two individuals that I think we all know here, um, Miss Boswell, and um, but it's it's a very fluid situation. Uh, we've located both of them, and uh, we are talking with both of them at at this particular time. So as as the details become uh, more clear and as it develops, I'll, I will keep everybody updated. But even though we've interviewed or we are we have located and interacting with the two individuals that have been in the news relating to this investigation, we are still seeking any and all information from anybody regarding their knowledge of where uh, Sydney could be and to uh, ask for their assistance. Um, to that end, uh, what we've done, the FBI has set up um, a number and asking anybody with any information uh, relating to, to this investigation to uh, give us a call. Our number is area code 402-493-8688 and you just hit option one. We have, um, we have uh, multiple individuals standing by ready to take your calls and they'll be able to get this information to um, our task force that is working this investigation so it can be immediately turned into actionable items. Um, but we stand shoulder to shoulder with our law enforcement partners and we're all committed and we are applying all of our resources to um, help bring uh, Sydney home. I know you guys will have a lot of further questions as, as the case develops, but um, this is an ongoing investigation and we ask for your patience and understanding. Um, as it develops. Uh, due to the critical nature and the type of investigation, uh, there's a lot of uh, comments that uh, I won't be able to, to make at this time, but 
um, I'd like to reassure everyone that we are doing our best as a law enforcement team here to um, pursue any and all leads relating to this investigation. Uh, I appreciate everyone joining us today and hope together as a community we can uh, work together to bring Sydney home. And again, I ask anybody in the public with any information to call us at area code 402-493-8688 and then again hit option one on the phone. And uh, with that, um, we'll take a few questions. Did they turn themselves in, the two people of interest? At this time, uh, I'd rather not comment on that. They, they've been located, and we are interacting with them right now. Where were they located at? Um, somewhere in the Midwest, as of right now. They're not in Lincoln, though, at this time? No, they are not. Did, your, did this search find anything in Miller? Um, we... Sheriff Allen Moore and a whole host. I think that when we were speaking last night, over 50 law enforcement personnel and several volunteers were involved in those particular searches, and they did not discover any new evidence that are leading us directly to where Sydney may be. Let me, a minute. Let's just sort of make a couple comments, please, and then um, we're going to go ahead, George. I guess on behalf of our family, it's okay. It's okay. on behalf of our family, I would like to uh, thank all of you, uh, all of the people that have made the pins, made the, the flyers, uh, gotten the word out on social media. Uh, all the support uh, that our family has received. Uh, continue that uh, and uh, thank you for all of your prayers. And uh, in my opinion, someone knows something, please, please do the right thing. Thank you. They claim that they've made contact with you guys very early on in the investigation, but they say you guys never said that happened. Can you say whether that did or not happen? Go ahead, sure, I can answer that. Uh, we have, they have attempted to make contact. We have had contact, and going into it any further than that is, uh, I think, is detracting from the investigative process, and so that's that's the comments. But I they were make. cooperative from the beginning. And, we had contact with them over the phone. And I have a question. It seems like um, yesterday's efforts really kind of ramped up the investigation. Why is that? Why two weeks later was it kind of picked up? Yeah, it, it certainly, Brandy, that is the perception that comes out, but that is not the reality. I can assure you since the moment that Susie made the call to the Lincoln Police Department that all of these agencies have been working diligently behind the scenes and our personnel have been working around the clock in an effort to try to find Sydney. And then as things developed and we learned more, eventually tried to find Bailey Boswell and Aubrey Trail. And the really, the emphasis hasn't changed. It's been there since the, the infancy. What's the next step here? Do you guys have an area that you're searching next? Um, the next steps are one with the assistance of everybody that listens to all of your outlets of where is Sydney right now. Two is as relayed by Randy, there have been arrests made and the individuals, um, excuse me, let me back up. We have been in contact and we are now have the opportunity to speak once again with Aubrey Trail and Bailey Boswell. And we'll be sending personnel down there to speak with them. If they mentioned in one of their posts yesterday that the second night that Sydney went out with 
Boswell that she was dropped off at a friend's house. Is, has that been verified? Is, is that the case or is that still being determined at this point? And if so, where was that friend's house at? Those statements have been known since the beginning of the investigation and we are continuing to try to vet that information, Jeff. Have they been charged with anything? There are outstanding warrants um, for Bailey Boswell for possession of some type of narcotic. Um, I don't know off the top of my head. And then there is a Saline County uh, District Court warrant for Aubrey Trail for possession of a firearm by a prohibited person. But nothing Sydney related? That, that is correct. That, they're persons of interest in this investigation. We want to talk to them because, as they have stated in their Facebook posts to all of you and to the to the public that they were with Sydney in a very close proximity to the last time we know that um, where she was. How helpful has the public's information been? You said you've had some help in that. How helpful has it been? Yeah, it, it's been very helpful. Uh, it's provided us with uh, several leads, but I'd, I'd rather as it as this develops and. Um, I will kind of reveal that and give you, you more details, but it, it's been very helpful. It seems as though there's a lot of effort um, focused on searching a pond yesterday near where she may have been last. Was that, is that the case or why, why was that pond <coughs> searched for so long? There, there's been multiple searches that have begun since the, uh, the 16th of November when this all started and there were they brought to all of your attention areas in rural Saline and Gage County that were searched. But that's just based upon information as we continue to develop it. And again, some of that information, once we receive it, we haven't, we want to go out and say, is it good information or is it something that we just need to rule out as being involved? And that's what yesterday's um, efforts were all about. We'll take a couple more, I think, and then. There have been rumors that Sydney's cell phone was found buried in a yard in Wilbur that near the home that the persons of interest lived in. Can you confirm whether or not that is true? Um, to speculate on the rumors of this, uh, on that particular one, that is not true. Is there hope that she can be found alive? Yes, absolutely. So the warrant of Saline County is active for trial? Yeah. There, again, the information that was relayed by Aubrey Trail on the Facebook would suggest that the warrant was issued and then canceled. That's accurate. It was issued, canceled, and reissued as a result of a bond, the, the dollar amount that is required for him to, to post bond. That's, so it's a process, an administrative process issue that he's referring to, but the, act, the warrant is active. That warrant was updated yesterday. Um, and the seal, can you, is the warrant still for uh, possession of a firearm, kind of you know, or is it, has it been upgraded to something else? Andrew, you're talking about Aubrey Trail? Yes. Jeff, I, I can relate to that. Yep. Um, can you, can you uh, the, uh, the activity on that warrant yesterday was uh, more of the sealed um, nature as far as sealing the information that we have in the affidavit in that warrant. So the actual warrant did not change. In, the video, in their, one of the videos they posted, they said that they provided statements to a lawyer and that the police should have them by now. Is that something that you guys have looked into? That's part of the investigative process that we're still mm -hmm. um, looking into. Um, I think with that, we're going to, uh, we thank you once again for coming down, sharing this message. And, um, and meeting George and Susie.